hello everyone <coughs> welcome to my youtube channel so today we are going to discuss about the motivation in engineering okay or engineering research so uh, the topic explains you about uh, what can or cannot or you can say what are the things which can motivate uh, the scientific community or the institute to, to take up uh, research as their one of the academic curriculum so or uh, uh, their uh, field of interest for their career also so maybe it can be the research assistant the research associate or uh, uh, jrf that is a junior research fellow or srf that is senior research fellow then we are having a research associate we are having junior scientists, senior scientists, all these kind of jobs are there. So these all things will give you both money and as well as joy that you are going to play with the chemicals in the laboratory or they are, you are going to play with some materials in some late machine or something like that. Or maybe in aviation technology you are building drones or then you are adding some specifications and in, in, when it comes to the computer science you are uh, using the AIML and uh, getting it done for, with the robotics and other technologies okay so these all things plays a very important role and they if they, uh, the major motivation we are having like uh, can be categorized into two things like intrinsic factors or extrinsic factor intrinsic factor motivation in the sense so it has to come from within your own uh, thing and it is more on uh, your moral and ethical and your interest all other stuffs and all for example when you when you don't have interest uh, to do a particular research you cannot do the research properly so interest plays a very important role then you should identify a particular problem and that problem should be challenging that means it is not at done the solution is not at uh, being uh, done so far so that ha that that has to be uh, challenge so that problem solving challenge should be taken by the uh, person then he should be capable of learning each and every day he should not restrict himself that i know everything that that kind of mentality should not be there in research and meaning you should identify what exactly you are doing that meaning should be there whatever you want to do the research and then the purpose what you are why you are going to uh, to do this particular research whether you are in the end you are getting any product which you can market or other in the end whether you are getting some processes or new processes you are building which will help the society all those things also plays a very important role when it comes to the extrinsic motivating factors we are having like a money fame awards praise status all these things will act as a external factors or you can say extrinsic motivating factors so we can get broadly categorize these motivation factors into two categories intrinsic factors or inter, inter, intrinsic uh, motivation factors and extrinsic motivating factors so whereas interesting motivation or uh, intrinsic motivating factors are interest challenge learning meaning purpose they are linked to the strong creative performance so when it is about intrinsic motivation you are having an interest when you are having an interest when you are having when you are taking it as a challenge when you are learning when you have that habit of understanding what exactly you are doing and understanding the meaning of your research understanding the purpose of your research definitely your outcome will be the strong creative output okay whereas in extrinsic motive motivation factors the money is involved the fame is involved the awards are involved the what you say usually uh, we, we will be getting the awards like uh, the the best researcher award of the year that those kind of uh, you know, awards will be there so best young researcher award all the kind of this maybe cv raman award okay a special award this kind of different different regulatory bodies or different different central bodies or including government bodies and public bodies and as well as private bodies they give the particular awards because they want to motivate the uh, scientific community especially the young generation to get involved in the research so, and the praise and status all those things are the strong motivation factors but what happens when you are focus more on money when you are focused more on fame or something like that they might block your creativity so you might have heard that person so and so did they did they are not doing in their lab they are not going and touching anything but they will be having a lot of funds you know in, in lakhs of money will be you know every year they are getting all those things because just they because just because they wrote one project and they are not actually working on it so here the purpose totally focuses on extrinsic factors 
whereas intrinsic factors or motivation factors will be nullified when this happens the creative will be creativity will be blocked you cannot get the strong results out of it you can have one particular in the end of the submission day you do some research and you get something done and you uh, re report out to publish to the funding agencies you will fund you will su uh, submit the report but that will not give you the the strong creative performance so that means what it will not give you the end result or a product which can be you uh, commercialized so even though you are having a number of patents it is useless if it is uh, not used by the people or the society so that has to have a use case without use case whatever you do is waste of time or energy or money or resources so that has to be that's why we need to have both should be balanced intrinsic motivation factor should be there and as well as extrinsic motivation factors should be there if one goes up then the other will be in trouble so for example imagine a particular researchers they are having a lot of interest in their doing research they are uh, taking it as a challenge they are doing a lot of yeah, putting a lot of efforts they are getting the strong creative performance but what if they are not paid well what happens they will also lose their interest right so that's why they have to these th two things are interrelated that's why intrinsic and extrinsic factors what are what we can say in the motivation in engineering research so for example we are having research outcome may enable out obtaining a patent which is good way to become uh, rich and as well as famous if at all your intrinsic motivation factors are strong if you are if you are really interested in your research and uh, if you are taking it as a challenge then you can come up with a patent with the where you can have a lot of applications for the humans or society so definitely if any companies if for example if pharmaceutical related or if any health related companies if you are making any product then those companies will approach you when you get the patent they will approach you and they will pay you nice amount of money for your patent so that they can use for their production or commercialization and even though even you, you will have an option you don't have to sell your patent you either sell it for some crores or something like that based on its uh, use cases or you can simply start your own startups okay even the governments are helping with a lot of funds you can start your own startup and you build a company you produce your product and then you release it to the market even that is also you can make a huge amount so that you can be in this particular with the obtaining a particular patent or a specific patent which is helpful for most of the people you can have a very uh, good amount of money so you can become a rich and as well as famous also so for example uh, if one case study if i want to say you are having a uh, 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 juice every day i guess one or other day you will have juice right and we are having that uh, whatever uh, we use it for uh, this thing right uh, to drink uh, juice so in, uh, earlier it used to come the straight way that whatever the joy we are using so it used to come in like a straight like a penne to use so we used to drink like this like this and all so even though our uh, juice is there uh, like this then you have to ha half of the juice if it is done if left out juice we have to uh, lift like this and you, you had to drink earlier okay so later when this was noticed by some person and then the, he made a particular whatever uh, this the straw is there no so he made a uh, one uh, spring kind of structure so that was so you can easily bend that and you can drink you don't have to do like this like this and all so it's a very simple right and it is being patented so that means it's very simple and all of the whole world started using these uh, straws rather than the straight straws so that's how you can become rich and famous when you are having really interested in particular research or taking up any problems as a challenges so uh, there are four factors uh, uh, sorry mm, there are other four factors are there for example uh, I mean other two more factors are there for example uh, so intrinsic factors extrinsic factors we saw next two more points are there for example influence so you will be getting the influence from anywhere in the world for example if someone is doing something then you will see those people and you will also feel that I should also do that particular work so now I just gave you an example of this straw so when you go hear the story you feel like you are doing something addressing that particular simple problem so that you can also become rich and uh, rich and also 
uh, the people who are working in academia or the, those who are doing their engineering or masters or something like that they can also have that they have published a particular paper imagine the group a is published a paper then the group b group c group d in your class they will group together and they will also think that even we have to do some research we have to papers you know publish papers even this not only in the student community but also in academician he has a staff or as faculties or uh, the teachers they can also take up a lot of uh, you know uh, these things as a competition and the collaboration work can be done commitment should be there and then encouragement should be there these all factors will uh, will bring you the influences so that it's like it will give you the motivation they also will act as a motivating factor in the research for example my friends are also doing research so should i do so should i so for example if uh, in the whole academia if a particular people are doing Uh, research and if the management is recognizing that research and uh, paying them well compared to the others who are not doing the work then definitely the whole com- there will be a huge competition there will be huge collaboration will starts because everything is a multidisciplinary nowadays so so most of the people will have a commitment that i have to finish this particular work so then that will act as a encouragement from the management side when there is a hike for those who are doing research the others also will think in a way that we have to we also have to do research and we have to publish several papers so that's what we have to do so personal motivation in solving and unsolved problems so that is also one more point you need to have personal mot- motivation that where from within inside uh, you should have that uh, fire that i have to solve some particular problems i have to take research as my career and intellectual joy should be there there has to be intellectual joy because without knowledge they you are not going to enjoy any new things so research is finding the new problem and addressing the uh, addressing it with a new solution so for that intellectual joy should be there you should be enjoying this particular thing and service to the community so that also you should have that factor in your mind i have to when i get to do this thing then this whole, whole i can solve lot of problems of the society or maybe the i can reduce the global warming or i can reduce if not completely of the world i can contribute even though 0.1% is a great con- contribution when most of the people are not not not, not doing anything so and as well as respectability okay you want respectability that when you have that personal uh, motivation in uh, uh, research then also you will start respecting you will uh, respecting yourself and the people will start respecting you that uh, this particular person has got published uh, uh, a lot of papers in uh, q1 journals q2 journals so he is pretty much intelligent or something like that these all think some you know all factors also will act as a driving factors in terms of research so that was about intrinsic extrinsic and uh, influences and as well as the uh, the encouraging factors or what we say as a personal motivation factors so four factors we discussed so the following factors are there that would mix both extrinsic and intrinsic factor aspects also so by mixing both in extrinsic and extrinsic intrinsic and extrinsic we are having few points for example the first one is first uh, this motivation is to wanting to do better than what has been achieved in the world that means already it has been done review of literature means what you are going to identify what are the things has been done in your own field and finally we'll come to know that this work is not been done so definitely wanting to do a better than what has been achieved in the world so that you are you want to publish it so that uh, next so improve the state of the art in technology improve the state of the art that means by introducing new approaches by introducing new methodologies by introducing innovative techniques so you are going to improve the state of the art of the technology art in the technology next contribute to the improvement of the society that's what i told you for example in my phd work what i did was in order to reduce the agricultural waste i'll keep repeating this because that is a research i have to keep repeating because it is related to me so uh, when it is uh, speaking when i'm speaking about uh, the polymer waste uh, i can reduce the industrial waste uh, can reduce like textile industry and also i can reduce the agricultural uh, waste so that's a great contribution to the society when i started i felt like that so the similarly you should also have that every researcher should should have that contribute to the improvement of the society next fulfillment of the historical 
legacy in the immediate socio-cultural context even this also is plays a very important role in when it comes to the architecture and uh, you know and other stuffs where the historical legacy has to be carried out so that so and so people have done so the particular uh, for example iit particular group they have done so and so research you have to carry out that legacy so that is also one of the motivation factor which where both intrinsic and extrinsic will be mixed here so several other factors are also there for example government detect directives where uh, the a lot of funding opportunities will be there in certain areas we are having the from the central government which was initiated by the earlier governments like for example dbt is there department of biotechnology dst is there department of science and technology like that drdo is there right there are plenty of you know funding agencies are there even the ugc is funding nowadays even the if, uh, at minute level vt is also funding for several projects every year the kcst even uh, our uh, government of karnataka vgst is funding 15 lakhs 20 lakhs 30 lakhs 60 lakhs and all okay so these all things plays a very important role even in our when i was doing working in some co the previous college we had applied for some particular grants and we had received 30 lakhs grants for a particular project so that's how so you will receive a lot of funds from the governments also which is not subsidized which is not uh, loan wise directly the pay government is directly paying for your research so in terms of employment it is also it has to be taken care so that even if the employment is good in terms of research then the young minds will go there and they will start working so that the new ideas will come into picture so that's how like the jobs can be the research assistant it will start with the research assistant junior research fellow senior research fellow junior scientist senior scientist and so on so that's how you can create in terms of em employment also the so terms of employment also plays a very important role and as a other factors and they, these all things can motivate people to get involved in the engineering research so that's what we can conclude the how uh, we can motivate a particular youngsters or anyone to get involved in engineering research so next topic we are having types of engineering researchers that is descriptive applied and uh, versus fundamental or descriptive versus analytical quantitative versus qualitative that we will discuss in the next class